Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you which export method is faster in Adobe Premiere Pro. I will export the same video clip in three ways using software encoding, hardware encoding and Adobe Media Encoder. Let's see which one is the quickest. If you have ever wondered about export speeds, stay with me and find out. I'm exporting just 7 minutes of my project. These 7 minutes include different layers like animations, titles, transitions, sounds, effects, music and more. It's everything most of us add when editing a video. The video is set to 1080p. I took my 4K footage, scaled it down to 1080p and then exported it. I also made a note of the export time so you can see the results clearly. I'm using all the default settings with the maximum render quality and a VBR1 pass method set at bit rates of 20 and 40. My laptop has a cooler booster that helps keep the chip and the inside cool so I turned it on for all three tests. Let's start with software encoding. My laptop uses an NVMe SSD so export times may vary if you use a regular hard drive. For reference, my laptop has an Intel i7 9th gen H series chip and it is a gaming laptop. Please don't compare these numbers with your own project. Just look at the differences between three methods. The software encoding export took 12 minutes and 10 seconds. After a short break, I exported the project using hardware encoding. Let's see how much time does it take. My laptop also has a 4GB NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 graphics card. A few years ago, Adobe didn't support hardware encoding, but they added it in early 2020. If you have a graphic card in your laptop, you might see more differences. This hardware encoding export took 9 minutes and 49 seconds, which is faster than software encoding. After another short break, I exported the same project using Adobe Media Encoder. In Media Encoder, you can choose between software or hardware encoding. I picked software encoding for this test to see if there was any difference. I noticed that media encoder takes a little time to process the project before it starts exporting. This export took 15 minutes and 4 seconds to finish. Finally, here is the quick summary. The first place is hardware encoding thanks to the graphic card. The second place is software encoding thanks to the processor. The third place is Adobe Media Encoder. A good option if you have extra time, especially when working on several projects at once. One good thing about Media Encoder is that you can export one project while you work on another, saving you time. If you want to see how it exports on an Apple MacBook Air with an M1 chip, click on this video. Enjoy the video and let me know what you think in the comments.